Hi everyone, today we are doing a how to sound like with Caius and I'm doing that with a pretty simple rig. First, I want to say a huge thanks to Max, one of my viewers who gave me a lot of info. If you think this sounds good, that's uh, thanks to Max. If you think it sounds bad, that's on me. Josh is known for using many different amps in the Caius era and to my surprise he even used a Marshall, I believe it was a JCM900 at some point. Uh, today I'm using two amps when I'm recreating uh, the different sounds. You can absolutely do this with one amp. Most of the distortion that I'm getting is from a pedal. But uh, let's start with the guitar and I will take you through the whole uh, signal chain. So if you see in the Queen's video that I just did, I used this Eastwood GP and I'm using it in this video also. The only difference on the guitar is that I uh, lowered the neck pickup because that's the only pickup that I'm using in this video. Uh, it's a bit hot, this pickup, so it helps to turn it down a bit. And from the guitar, I'm running into a Hampstead Soundworks uh, subspace overdrive distortion pedal. Basically, all of the distortion is happening in that pedal. <laughs> Subspace can be a really smooth overdrive if you want to, but it can also be quite nasty uh, when needed. And I think nasty is a very important keyword to recreate this sound. After the subspace, I'm basically just going into a splitter and then into two different amps. One signal is going to the Hampstead Artist 60. With these settings, I'm running it on 60 watts, by the way, because you can use this amp on 60, 20, and 7 watts. Uh, the other signal is going to my Friedman Dirty Shirley. I'm using the low input there, and I'm also using one of the lower gain switch alternatives on the input. Since the guitar is tuned to C, and there's a lot of low end in the pedal, I'm actually uh, removing all the bass from the Friedman, uh, it can be uh, way too much bass uh, all of a sudden when you are doing this tone. The Hampstead is mic'd up with a Lewitt MTP 440 and with the Friedman I'm running that head into a barefaced uprising 212 cabinet and I'm miking that up with a Shure SM57. I much prefer uh, the Lewitt MTP 440 for this, but I only have one so I have to use the SM57 on the barefaced cab. And from the mics I'm going into my Fluid Audio SRI 2 audio interface. So let's hear how it sounds clean. I'll play thumb for you since that has a clean intro and then I'll kick in the subspace for the driven part. <laughs> So without a doubt, it sounds pretty freaking nasty, uh, <laughs> this setup, and it's super loud. Throughout the video, I'm doing some different songs, and basically the thing that I'm changing on those uh, uh, songs to try to get closer to the different albums is like the different levels on the two amps, and I'm also adjusting the treble and the gain a bit on the pedal on the different songs. <laughs>
Actually, the sound on Gardenia that I just played is a bit more complex, or not complex, it's a bit more fussy and metal at the same time. But other than that, I think you can get pretty close with this setup if that's the tone that you are looking for. By the way, on Patreon, you can suggest what bands I should do next uh, in this series, how to sound like. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.